Hey what's up everybody my name is Trophynet and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We're on our way to EOS uh, to see if we can't find out a bit more about uh, the Asari arc since Korra has, uh, has discovered that a few of the Asari have landed at EOS so at Podromo so uh, there we go landing zone EOS and let's uh, check that out. And I kind of forgot to uh, take Cora with me, but I think I can quickly change that out over here, if I'm not mistaken. I think right over there at the pole I can swap them out, because now it's probably Jal and uh, Drac that followed me. Back where we really started. What's new on our first home? The cats still maintain a presence. Skirmishes are frequent and travel requires caution. They never learn. What else? The atmosphere continues to clear, but radioactive hazards pool in some areas. Study is ongoing. And remnants remain active on the surface, but also as detected by seismic readings. Point of contact for all this? Your people, Pathfinder. Prodromos is expanding, with all the trials and discovery that building an outpost represents. Grounded in research. All data about newly accessible EOS is from their work. Well, okay, then. make sure it gets the attention it deserves. There we go. Uh, so, Jal and Drac, I'm just gonna swap you guys out, because I do want to change that up. And I think it wouldn't be bad to take Vetra again, because... Uh, although... Hmm... Might be interesting to just take Jal with us as well. So let's confirm the loadout for now. And there we go. So uh, Korra and Jal, there we are. Uh, the first thing we need to do is check the quest log. There we go. Take Korra to speak with Hydaria on Eo. So we're pretty close to where we need to be. And while we're at it, I'm just going to scan these things. Or not. Thought I could scan those. For that uh, little side quest where we need to scan all those uh, minerals. Korra seems to be over there. There seems to be another mineral over here. It doesn't look like anything I've seen before. So maybe. Yeah. There we go. Cadmium. Let's get that. Thank you very much. And then it appears like the Asari are inside this little hut. Cabinet. Container. Whatever you want. Ooh. That's a container. Quick receiver and initiative armor. Uh, I should actually swap out my helmet as well, because I made a fancy new helmet. Um, hello, Hidaria. Armed and armored. Good for you. I could have used that ordinance a few weeks ago. I'm Ryder, the human pathfinder. Lieutenant Harper. We're looking for the Asari Ark. So am I. Watching the skies every day, praying they survived the cat. Huh. Sounds like a lucky escape indeed. At least you and these others made it out. Only just. Our clothes were still smoldering. What happened? The Ket chased our Ark across the cluster. But these weren't their regular soldiers. They were hunters. Elite killers. Yeah, and the Arks are completely defenseless. None of the Arks are armed. I don't like those odds. They kept shooting to slow us down. Peeled one deck like an orange. A bridge officer. Sarissa something gave the evacuation order. Hundreds of people, all trying to flee. It, it was... Where could we look for the Ark? We lost track. But they launched a ship to help evacuees. And her crew would know. You'd have to find her. Follow the transponder, maybe. We will, we will find him, don't worry. Consider it done. Focus on taking care of yourselves. The ship's called the Paraphona. I'll give you her transponder codes and last flight plan. Thank you. It's good to see the Ket aren't the only ones winning. Okay then. Um, go to Vault to track the Paraphona's signal. So we need to go back to the Frozen Planet for that. Interesting. Um, what else can we do? I think we have a few minor quests on EO, so I might as well check those out. Give me a second. So we're gonna do the shock treatment quest next. So that means find the work rosters on the guys that are uh, experimenting on Remnant. 
Now we need to investigate the med bay as well. I think the med bay will probably be the closest one. Probably one of the buildings over there. And jump over your head. And then it should be... Yeah, over there. I'll be interested to see what your scientists learn of EOS. Okay, Jal, thanks for that question, but... Feel free to talk to everybody you want to. Uh, so there's somebody over here... Or something, at least. Is Are these the guys that are... Investigating everything? A data pad, that must be the work roster. Watercourse repair team, Kane Fox, Lorelai Smith and Matthew Kinnison. And weather monitoring device setup, Axel Jennings, Sale Varox and Jamie Kasparak. Okay, that's something we needed. Work rosters. That data pad mentioned the name Jennings. Here, Axel Jennings, assigned to set up weather monitoring devices all over the desert. Too many locations to check them all. We need to narrow it down. Okay, and apparently I can scan a lot of stuff in here for a bit of research data. Which is great. So now we need to investigate the med bay as well. And then we'll probably have to find that uh, weatherman. There we go. So there we go, the med bay. Anything I can scan in here? Yeah, that one. This definitely Medical treated equipment. wounds caused by a remnant. That data pad said the work crew tried to control them. Sand particles were removed from the wound. Analyzing. Comparing with locations from the work roster, it's likely the injury occurred near a monolith. Let's go. Okay then, there's another terminal over here, so I'm quickly gonna check that out. Mr. Josephs, I find it troubling that you think I could be swayed from my duty by an offer of credits. I understand Victor Carson is a friend of yours, but that's hardly an adequate reason to release him from cryostasis and send him to prod prodromos. Beyond that, from what I hear, you two are a disaster waiting to happen. I know all about the prank you and Mr. Carson pulled on Everett before the journey to Helios. Victor Carson will be released from stasis when I see fit, and assigned to an outpost that best suits his skill set. And if I hear you've gone over my head and spoken to Addison about this, you'll have me to answer to Administrator Brecca. And then case notes from Dr. Ramirez on examination, no organic underlying cause. Apparently suffered a mechanical failure when coming out of stasis that locked her in, a, in the pod. Clearly a psychosomatic case, but symptoms are acute. Prescribed tetravoxin and VR post-stasis therapy. Next appointment in two weeks. So uh, acute insomnia and claustrophobia were the symptoms, by the way. And then some personal notes from Dr. Ramirez. I'm seeing several cases of post-stasis anxiety and other related conditions. The techies solved a lot of the physical effects of long-term stasis, but we're clearly seeing the psychological effects run a lot deeper. People just aren't designed to be turned off for too long. Should talk with Hanley about a long-term research initiative. We're first for a lot of things. And then somebody with multiple leg fractures. Patient lost his grip and fell during maintenance work on the roof. Jump jets failed to fire. Compound fractures to the right leg. Severe sprains to left ankle. Patient showed an allergic reaction to anesthetic, so I borrowed August and a couple of engineers to hold 076 down while I set the legs. Application of foam cast and appropriate analgesia followed. Personal notes. Noisy day, but hopefully an object lesson to the rest of the outpost about jump jet maintenance. Patient is healing nicely, should be falling off roofs again in a week. Okay then, very sarcastic doctor. Can I actually talk right. to you? It doesn't seem like I can. Oh, I can. August said you might swing by. Ryder, yes? Dr. Ramirez, run the clinic here on EOS. Much better than life as an Alliance medic. Good to meet you. I'll guess you're not here for a checkup. How can I help you? Wait a second. Why does your thing look fine? It doesn't look scrambled like it did. Was that a graphical bug all along? What's the latest from your clinic? Usual checkups for first thing colonies. Plus a few cases of dehydration and some blindness. Nothing serious. Okay, what can you tell me about Bradley? What do you think of Bradley? I've known him for years. He was the squad medic when he was injured, and we kept in touch after his discharge. He's a smart fellow, a good lieutenant, but a better mayor. And it bugs him when I call him August. 
So I restrict myself to uh, two or three times a day. <laughs> okay then. How is life on the hills for you? What's it like living in our first successful outpost? It's early days, but promising. Everyone pitches in, everyone matters. We know we'll make this work. Okay, I think yeah, we don't need to ask him why he came to Andromeda. I'll lead you to it. Come back anytime. Stop scanning me. Unhurt. Stop scanning me. I'm actually wondering. Oh yes, they fix. They just fixed that. I think they just realized that that looked very ugly, and now it's actually something on my wrist. That that scan thingy. That looked horrible in the first episodes. But okay then, that's good. Um, so now we know where we probably will find the Jennings guy that's uh, working on the weather systems and is probably experimenting on uh, remnant tech. So give me a second. There we are, we're right where we need to be, I think. And I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna save for a second. Just in case I die again, I, you know. It's not like I've been dying a lot against Remnant, but yeah, you 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 just no never know. Work crew, but someone left their gear behind. Oh god, they're all gonna be dead, aren't they? Stupid people! Why did you do all that? What's this? Looks like it's connected somehow to the center console. And they did leave their gear behind. Oh. Lexi, found another colonist. So many. All right, send me the information. Where? Where? I don't. Where did you see? Is that the colonist? It's not the colonist, is it? That's their gear. Can I check that out? What the hell? Ah, just need to scan it apparently. Wait, I've got an open comm channel. Easy money. Once the electrical charge builds up, we'll have ourselves some nice, obedient remnant. You better be sure this time, Jennings. If you're that spooked, go hide behind the four giants. I'm busy. Damn it. We've got to find them before they get themselves killed. Ooh. So yeah, they're trying to have their own remnant that follow them. We're so close. I just know it. Once we get that linguist, we'll crack it. There's so much tech here. It has to help. Then I can see Carrie again. It's been a slow start, but we got this. We... Oh no. No! I'm uh, booking it, because apparently... Aren't all bots and maybe blue skies. Stay careful. They were saving any data they could, in case it helped the next try. That's us. The next try? Is us. Oh shit, 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 shit. I have a timer to save these guys. Must be right next to that other uh, remnant ruin over there. So if I can get there quickly enough. Looks like we have some scavenger animals on our lost supply crates. Oh shit, is it over here? Just gonna check the map so I can. Uh... Oh no, it's it's down below, so I can safely just drop down on the left here. Oh, 50 seconds. Jesus. That's cat technology, Ryder. Faster. We had a legend that formations like this were from the weight of the sky. Long before the scourge. Water and weather. Nothing tougher in the long run. I think we're almost where we need to be. Help us! Please! Charge! Get ready to fight! Oh shit, what are those? I'm gonna have to uh, get cover here somehow. That's one that got uh, beaten immediately. I also equipped the incisor. There we go. Now I had something big over there. 
Holy shit, what the hell is that? Ow! Okay. That's shooting big. There we go. Is that it? No, there's something else. No. I think that's it. Holy shit, that was uh, fast all of a sudden. So take all that, that's a lot of stuff. And I can scan this probably. A remnant nullifier. Huh. Anything else that has loot? Can scan this thing. And now we need to talk to the survivors. Hello. Hello, sir. Sir, stop running away from me. Great timing. Thanks for the assist. Where are you going? Your experiment with the remnant didn't work out. Huh. Okay, who squealed? Gasperick? Yeah, that. These remnant could plow our fields, protect us from the cat. You control them, why shouldn't we? Um are are we controlling them? I I don't remember controlling any any remnant, just oh you mean the machine, the big machine, the atmospheric machine. Um I know what I'm doing or you're risking lives. How many people need to get hurt before you stop this? Pathfinder's got a point, Jennings. <sighs> Fine. But you can't protect us all the time, Pathfinder. Out here, we need every edge we can get. And there we go, shock treatment completed. Um, I need to check out... There's a little creature over there and I want to scan it. There's two little creatures over there. There we go. I'm talking about that wildlife. I'm not gonna kinda I'm not gonna attack that. They seem friendly enough. It also it's also really cool that I can just walk around in here. There's not really anything wrong going on around here, so I don't think there's anything of interest here anymore. Okay. Seems like we've done another quest. Um I'm gonna check out the quest log and I'll see you guys at the next thing. Ryder, could we chat? Oh, so I returned to the Tempest because I'm gonna go to the Nexus uh, to complete BB's project. But it appears Callow wants a word. Sam's been compiling our Ooh. star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. Almost thought you it was gonna freeze the right there. there. Funny, a few months ago that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. I could use a lake. What? What the hell? Everyone's pitching in, yeah. Everyone's really working to get the Nexus on its feet. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. Uh, coexist with the Scourge? It will always be a threat. It's a huge space anomaly. It's not going away in anyone's lifetime. If we could somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. Indeed. So thank you, Gallo. Uh, and I don't think I need to check anybody else. So let's just go over here and head towards the Nexus. Okay, back at the Nexus. We should be pretty close to PB's apartment over here because I think this is a way we haven't been yet. Shapiro. I'm just going to talk to him when we get back because I think... Uh, I just want to prioritize a bit and just do the tasks we have instead of just keeping, keep uh, accepting new ones. So this one over here, apparently. Let's knock. Unlocking. Come on in. Okay. Oh wow, this place is a mess. What did I expect otherwise? Um. What the hell is that? What in the world is this? <laughs> is that an observer? She just hacked. Ta-da! 
My project, she is complete. She? Looks like a she to me. Just a proof of concept. I stripped out its remnant command prompts to see if I could power it up myself. It worked! Now I can build a field model with combat protocols that fights for you. So, Okay. Uh, what do you think? It's amazing. You've outdone yourself, PB. Let Suvi and Gil eyeball it, then fast track the combat model for me. I'd hoped you'd be happy. Oh no, I forgot to lock the... Shit. My, my, Pelisaria. Didn't know you were still using this hole. Who's your friend? Pelisaria. Kalina, this is Ryder. Oh, everyone knows the human pathfinder. I meant who's your remnant friend? None of your business, Kalinda. Of course it isn't. That's what makes it so interesting. Don't be so hostile, babe. Oh, so she's the partner you had before. Hostility seems fair. <laughs> Don't be so condescending, babe. This is PB's place, and you're trespassing. I'd say that warrants a little hostility. Now, now. I was just concerned something might have happened to my dear old friend. I'm sorry for the intrusion, Pelisaria. I'm just relieved to see you moving on. Ta-ta. I'll walk you out. Okay, then. Kalinda. So, wanna talk about it? Well, Kalinda and I go way back. We joined the initiative together. For a long time, we were like family. Now we're not. When you live a thousand years, Ryder, people come and people go. Entanglements are silly. Just like places. Time to pack this one up. I'm done with it. Ooh. Yeah, we kind of care about you, peebs. Hey, I hope you know you can talk to me. Anytime. Aren't you a cutie? Thanks, Ryder. That's nice. I mean it. But really, the past is the past. I'm fine. Okay, then, if you say so, Remnant VI unlocked. PB's research has unlocked the Remnant VI power. This power will allow Ryder to call upon Zap, a controllable Remnant observer. You can find this power on the tech skills screen. Oh, so that's why some I'll of the powers are disabled. See you back on the Tempest. Ooh, wait for PB to learn more about the Remnant. Oh god, this is cool. So that's how you unlock those abilities. Let's check that out. Remnant VI. Deploys a retrofitted Remnant Observer that repairs itself over time. Cloaks when critically damaged and counts as a tech construct. Tap the button, directs the VI to attack a particular target. Hold the button, deactivates the VI. So the VI has 800 health, does a beam attack with 66 damage per second and a 24 second re recharge time. And I actually have that immediately, I don't even have to change anything about that. That is interesting. Auxiliary system effects duration, let's just go with overload as I wanted to. More damage or faster recharge speed? I think for this case, more damage will be the best thing to have and then could go with auxiliary systems or just save my point to uh, spend on the next upgrade, which will be fine. Now I think I can assign favorites, yeah. So save currently equipped to over there, which is good because that's already there. If I now change my equipment, aha. Uh -huh. Trophy, jack of all trades, I just swapped to the the engineer uh, profile and I think if I then select favorites I can swap to favorite 2 and that's a completely tech skill tree then, that is cool. And I can swap between those on the fly normally, can I actually scan this thing? No. Okay, anything else I can scan to browse her personal life? I don't think I can, so yeah. Thank you, PB. So that's PB's secret project, apparently. Uh, let's check the time. Hmm. I think I'm gonna end it right here then. Uh, I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, well, thank you guys again enormously for watching and hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye.